Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Levitt was born in Bessemer, Alabama, but was raised in Canton, Ohio, where he moved at the age of six. He attended church regularly and eventually joined the church choir. As Levitt continued singing in his teenage years, he became a recognized voice in the church choir, sang in school plays, and performed regularly on the gospel radio show. While at high school, he teamed up with classmates Walter Williams, William Powell, Bobby Massey, and Bill Isles to form a group called the Triumphs. The Triumphs played locally in Canton, opening for different acts, playing sock hopes. They traveled to Cincinnati to canvas King Records, whose president Sid Nathan changed their name to the Mascots and signed them to his label. The Mascots' popularity grew as their music was broadcast on Cleveland radio stations. In 1969, the OJs signed with Philadelphia International Records, where they began to release records under the new label. The OJs later signed with EMI, Manhattan Records, and Levert and Williams began co-writing and producing their own tracks. Their EMI debut album, Let Me Touch You, went to number 3 R&B and including Loving You, which became a number 1 R&B. And be hit in the summer of 1987. In 1984, Levert's two sons, Gerald and Sean, both still in high school, announced that they wanted to follow their father's musical background. They met Mark Gordon recording under the group name Levert. Four of their seven albums went platinum. In 1992, Adi and son Gerald recorded Baby Hold On To Me, which was the number one R&B hit and reached number 37 pop on the charts. In 2006, upon returning from a South African tour with sons Gerald and Sean, Adi's son Gerald died due to interactions between in his prescribed medications in 2007, Eddie and Son Gerald album recorded in 2006. Something to Talk About was released, followed by the publication of the book I Got Your Back, co authored by Eddie and Son Gerald. In 2008, Eddie's son Sean died as a result of being denied needed prescription medication by government officials in Ohio. Later in 2008, Eddie and his late son Gerald were presented with Best Duo or Group Image Award. In 2009, the OJs were awarded BET's Lifetime Achievement Award, and Eddie Levert was awarded the Heroes and Legends. Space Setter Award on January 29, 2011. The OJs received the Trumpet Lifetime Achievement Award throughout A.D. Levert's career. The OJs have released 10 gold albums, with 9 eventually giving platinum, with 9 eventually giving platinum and number and 10 number 1 hits. Levert is still performing and touring with the OJs, well as performing as a solo artist. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.